Okay, so um, what we have a look at is supply side policies. Um, supply side policies, for some reason, um, are something that create um, a huge amount of um, confusion um, among students. But in reality, they're, they're pretty straightforward. Um, the way the way I see supply side policies is they're policies you know, that are designed to do two main things. Um, they are designed to support businesses on the one hand, yeah, um, and those sort of interventionist supply side policies, um, and also to challenge businesses. Yeah, forcing them to compete. Yeah, and those are your know, free market supply side policies. Um, what they're going to do, obviously, you know, by supporting and challenging businesses, you know, what you're likely to do, yeah, is you know to get businesses to invest, to become more efficient, to focus on productivity, yeah, um, so boosting their output per worker. Um, so as a result of that, what you're likely to see, yeah, is you know, an increase in you know the quantity, an increase in the quality, and an increase in the efficiency of use of your factory production yeah, with the impact yeah, of hopefully increasing potential growth. Yeah, so increasing the size of the glass. So the way the way I see it. Yeah, um, I think this is a helpful way of, of looking at it, is that what we're trying to do then is to um, in, intervene or improve um, in factor markets. Yeah, so factor markets yeah, um, yeah, are simply the markets for factor production. Yeah, so you've got labor markets, yeah, um, Often here we're trying to well here we can yeah here we can particularly support businesses you know, um, by providing um, a better skilled workforce you know, perhaps um, doing something with a minimum wage yeah you know, um, we've got capital markets in this context I mean capital in its purest sense yeah um, yeah so this is the market for investment where again we're trying to both encourage and force businesses you know, to um, engage in higher levels of investment um, and product markets this is particularly where the challenge to businesses is going to come from. Yeah, we're going to try and force businesses. Yeah, um, the sort of product markets are obviously the market for products, market for pens. Yeah, we're going to force businesses to compete, yeah, and therefore, yeah, to become more efficient. Yeah, so the combination of all of those things, yeah, is likely to lead to you know, an expansion in the economy's productive capacity. Um, one thing people, I mean, I'll clear up at this stage, one thing people sometimes get confused about is yeah, are, are, are supply side policies um, part of fiscal policy? And the answer is partly they are. Yeah, so there are both fiscal and non fiscal um, supply side policies. Yeah, so if we were to take an example then, yeah, so a fiscal supply side policy in labour markets would be, say, to increase education spending or to decrease income tax to create incentives to work. Yeah, a non-fiscal um, supply-side policy yeah, in um, labor markets would be something like to yeah, abolish the minimum wage. Yeah, or yeah, to yeah, um, yeah, establish further zero-hours contracts. So, you can see that yeah you know, that there is an overlap between fiscal policy um, and supply side policy. Some supply side policies involve the use of you know government spending um, and tax. Some don't. Yeah. So if we were to draw it like um, if we were to draw the overlap you know, like some sort of Venn diagram, then you've got kind of fiscal policy here, and you've got supply side policies here, and here we have you know fiscal supply side policies. Yeah. So like. Um, yeah, education spending or cuts in income tax. There are fiscal policies that don't have much of an impact um, on the supply side. Yeah, simply yeah, an, a kind of increase in benefits, increase in benefit spending or something. Yeah, is, is purely likely to increase aggregate demand. Or over here, you know, kind of deregulation. Yeah, um, of product markets to force firms to compete. 
you know, that's likely to, that's, that, that has nothing to do with tax um, or government spending. So, supply side policies, policies to support and challenge businesses, you know, trying to increase the quantity, quality, and efficiency of use of our factors of production with the goal, yeah, of increasing potential growth. 